Uh, hi guys, I, today we're going to be doing uh, this feature, special featured banner uh -huh. with my brother and uh -huh. I'm guessing that's pretty important, so let's hope that we catch something rare. We, we catch something rare. <laughs> yeah, we're going to catch Beast Gohan today. Um, guys, so this video is going to be a little bit late. The initial plan was to actually summon at the same time as the banner drop at 1 a.m. on uh, Friday, but some things happened that caused a delay in our yeah. <laughs> recording, which uh, we'll talk about in a second. But uh, without further ado, let's just jump right into it. You guys know I want the Beast Gohan. There's also LR, Gamma 1 and 2. Uh, you remember these guys? Yeah, I do. Yeah, we watched the movie together uh, a couple years ago, right? We watched uh, Superhero in theaters, so even though Phoenix is not like the biggest Dragon Ball fan, he knows these characters at least, so um, if you see this guy, get really excited. That's okay. The, <laughs> that's the main thing. I got the objective. You got the objective. Okay, okay, so we're trying to get this guy. Uh, we might try for these guys if we get him early, but otherwise we'll probably just stay away from this banner. And uh, yeah, why don't you just kick things off, Phoenix? Click multi, True. summon. Here we go. Beast Gohan. Um, pull down. Mm -hmm. You know what, don't let go yet. Let's make this a group summon. Okay, I'm oh, sure a lot of you guys these. have already summoned, but in case you haven't or you're still summoning, uh, let's get it together. In yeah, three, two, one, let it rip. Okay, yep. here we go. So Phoenix, why don't you uh, let people know why we weren't able to record earlier today? Oh yeah, because yesterday we were actually on vacation and we decided to go kayaking. Uh -huh. And it was basically our first time you, you kayaked before, right? Like yeah, but like, before, it was yeah. a lot more chill. It was my first time ever kayaking. Um, we were in Tobermory, which is this like little lakeside uh, town um, about four hours away from where we live. And we went with our parents, well, our mom, because our dad was busy, but yeah. uh, with our mom and grandma. And uh, yeah, oh, I have these guys. Mm. But um, yeah, we went to vacation, first couple of days, super chill, went yeah, on some hikes. Really fun. Yeah, went on some hikes. A lot of good tacos. Uh, ate a lot of tacos, <laughs> surprisingly good tacos there. And, uh, you know, went to the beach, um, went on a cruise, just like standard, you know, vacation things, right? We got a piccolo. I don't know what that means. That good? I don't know, we'll see. Um, so yeah, did all the standard stuff. And then on Thursday, Phoenix was like, why don't we go kayaking? Yeah, I thought it was fun. And it sounded fun, I, yeah. I agreed. I was like, we don't have anything else planned for the day, we might as well just go kayaking. Neither of us had really kayaked before. He did it once with our dad, I think. In PEI. Oh, that's a featured unit. Okay, we got this piccolo already, uh, rainbowed, but still featured unit is a good sign. Um, <laughs> so we go kayaking, get all set up. We got a tandem kayak, you know, for two people. Yeah. And, uh, it, the first thing that really kind of like, okay, you can pull down on this one. Sure. That really concerned me was the fact that as soon as we got on the kayak, it sunk a lot, <laughs> right? Yeah, I did remember that from the yeah. first time. Yeah, yeah, it like went a lot lower than I felt like it should have um, before we start, even started rowing. And I was like asking the attendant, I was like, maybe I should sit in the back, but they were like, no, it doesn't really matter. You know, it makes no difference. So we're like, okay, I mean, they know what they're doing. They've been doing this for a long time. Yeah. And we start rowing, it's a little unsteady, but we just figured like it was kind of windy that day. It was actually quite windy. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was like normal. Yeah, but like there was a lot, of, a lot of wind, a lot of waves, so like it was already a little unsteady because of that. And the fact that like we were both pretty inexperienced, you know, it was a little rocky, but I was like, we're making progress. We're slowly, you know, going down the river yeah. or the, the lake, I guess, and it should be fine. Um, but as we kept going, and then the water started, like, a lot of in. water started pouring in. Exactly. <laughs> and that started worrying me too. Pull down. There we go. Release. Um, so far, nothing in the summons. So we're not really focusing on that. I mean, of course, I'm still paying attention, but story is important because this was very traumatic, especially for Phoenix. Yeah, we almost <laughs> died. <laughs> Apparently we almost died. Um, where was I? Okay. Yeah. So we were slowly making our way, but a lot of water was getting in a lot of water, and I was like, Phoenix, is this normal? And you said, was it normal? Did you say it was normal or not normal? I said, probably not. <laughs> probably not, but we weren't sinking more than we already had been sinking like when we started. So I was like, maybe this is fine. 
Um, and I see some other people like, you know, going down the river too. Well, I keep saying river. Going down the bay and not, you know, having any issues. So I didn't really think too much of it. And uh, that's that should be a combo. Mm. I'm pretty sure that's a combo. We'll see. Um, and then we, we, we uh, capsized. <laughs> yeah, for the first time we capsized. Um, it was just very unstable. And yeah. uh, we, we were like, whoa, and then, and then we like didn't fall. And then, you know, a little bit later. Yeah, constantly just it's just constantly felt like, like we were whoa, about to. And then eventually we did fall over. Like uh, we were really close to the shore. Yeah, the, the boat flipped. We were very close to the shore though. So we were able to like just kick our feet, slowly make our way to the rocks on the side. Yeah. And uh, we were able to eventually flip the canoe over. And um, yeah, I was holding it and Phoenix got on and then I got on after, so it was good, yeah. right? We kept going, even though in the back of my mind, I was like, maybe we should just turn back. Yeah, at that point I wanted to turn back. You wanted to turn back, I know. But I didn't <laughs> want to waste the money. I know, because we already paid like a hundred bucks for it. So I was like, you know what, let's just keep going. I think we can do this. I think we can do this. Um, and then, yeah, things were good for a while. And then we try to cut across the bay, right? Yeah. Yeah, we try to cut across the bay as like a shortcut. And um, the worst thing kind of happened. We, we flipped again, but this time it, it was, was in the middle. middle. And that was kind of scary because like there was no rocks or no shore like that close to us. We tried to like just kick our way towards like this, this, this shore with like a lighthouse. And there were these like uh, huge tourist ships that were yeah, there, there were these big tourist across. boats that were like going back and forth a lot because it was like a very popular tourist area. We were actually on one of those boats the day before. And uh, yeah, I'll get back to that in a second. But these summons have been trashed. What is, what is going on? I can't tell if they're good or not. <laughs> Which is, there's no beast go on so bad. Okay. Right? Um, what are these combos about though? Uh, some of them mean stuff, some of them don't. Just pull down, yeah. Let go, there we go. Yep. I'll let you know if we get like a really good combo. Sure. So far, nothing super exciting. Um, sorry, this is like a really long way to tell the story, but I'm getting to the good part yeah. <laughs> or the bad part, depending on how you look at it. Um, yeah, so we flipped in the middle and like, I was like slightly like panicked, but like not super, because I was like in my mind, I was like, the, the worst, worst thing can happen yeah, is we're just, just like floating around, around for a bit. Yeah, we bob around for a bit if we can't make it to shore because the water was really strong. So like, as we were kicking towards the shore, we were being carried out towards the middle by the by the current, by, by the water. So we're just like, okay, if we end up just in the middle, we'll float around for a bit. Someone will eventually see us and come get us. But then there was also these cruise boats, right? These like yeah. giant boats that were coming back and forth. And part of me was like, what if like one of them you know, start like going this way and they don't see us and we just like, like get, I mean, get crushed by the, or I guess maybe like chopped to pieces by the propeller yeah. or something like that, right? So that, that would have been bad. So that was definitely in the back of my mind. That definitely freaked me out a little bit. Um, Phoenix was actually a lot more freaked out. You weren't showing it though. Like yeah. I didn't feel like you were actually that scared, but he told me after that he thought we were gonna die. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You actually did? Yeah. Like seriously, you thought like this is it, we're, we're, we're done? Yeah. Okay, so I didn't know that. I, I thought he was like keeping it pretty cool, but uh, apparently he was freaking out for real. So um, we, we, we were floated there for a bit, trying to kick, but like not really making much progress. Eventually, luckily, uh, there was a really nice A guy much better a kayaker. Kayak, a very much better kayaker, much more experienced kayaker on one of those like solo kayaks. Um, made it made his way towards us by himself, and then he was like, "Hey, let me try to help you guys." Uh, he tried. Oh, okay. I don't. I don't. I don't know what that is, but that's new. Yeah. Is that's Gohan? I saw that. So maybe we get a Gohan with the Gohan animation, possibly. Uh, so yeah, he made it his way over. He tried to flip the boat. I think he did actually. He flipped yeah. the boat for us. The he kayak. Did. We couldn't get on. But we couldn't get on. Yeah, because like there's nothing to kick off, and like we couldn't really like bring ourselves up. Because every time I tried to push myself up to the kayak, it was like tipping over. So. That wasn't working. And then as he was trying to help us with that, there was another guy, another guy with his, I don't know, girlfriend, wife, uh, with his friend um, on like one of those like inflatable boat. Oh, okay. I didn't mm -hmm. recognize the silhouette for a second. I thought it was something else. Yeah. Um, I guess the Gohan is just like a guaranteed featured animation, but it was the Piccolo once again, which I don't need, so. 
not a great pull there. Uh, yeah, so the other, the, the couple came by on their like inflatable boat with like a little motor. It was not a very big motor, but like it, it did the job, right? So yeah. they tied our kayak to their boat. Screen crack. Double screen crack? Oh, not, okay. Why don't you just click through? Not sure. like too quickly in case we get like a, you know, something exciting, but yeah. Um, yeah, they tied our kayak. Oh, that's a good pull. Hmm. I mean, I already have them, but they're not rainbowed. Definitely need dupes for them. Really good unit still, so good pull right there. Yep. Keep going. Um, and they tried to pull us towards shore. We were like grabbing onto the kayak, but <laughs> the problem was we were creating too much drag, right? The two of us. Oh, that's another good unit. I don't need them. They're rainbowed, but that's two LRs and a multi. That's okay. Things are looking up. So LRs are good. L LRs are, you know that. You know LRs are good. Even though there's a lot of them in the game now, so it's not as rare, but yeah. still, LRs are some of the best units in the game. So very, very good multi right there. Um, yeah, we, we were being pulled behind, but we were creating way too much drag. And like the boat just kept going in circles. And there was a scary moment actually where an actual uh cruise boat was coming right and like since we're going in circles in the middle of the lake a part of me thought like maybe we're gonna get hit by that cruise boat, i was not worried about the boats at that point i was worried about the boat i, I really was um but yeah no we he, he stopped the, the the boat went by us it was like kind of close but not too close i guess and after uh what we did was they tried to bring phoenix on board to like create less drag and just have me in the back. Yeah, we did. But that didn't work either because uh, I, I guess I was still <laughs> creating too much drag. So then they brought me on board too. So there was four of us on this like tiny inflatable boat, definitely over capacity. But um, with that change, we were able to get the boat to shore. And uh, from there, there's a really nice guy on the shore that helped us bring the, the, the kayak uh, up to the rocks. Uh, his name was Brandon actually, yeah. really nice guy from Guelph. Big shout out to him if you're watching this somehow. Uh, thank you. For we met a lot help. of cool people. We met a lot of cool people actually. Yeah, a lot of nice people helped us. Um, and uh, oh, I forgot to mention the reason I couldn't make this video uh, was because my my phone fell in the water <laughs> and now it's at the bottom of the lake. I held so, my phone the entire time. <laughs> he held onto his phone. I should have I don't know been smarter or I just I think I don't think my mind was on the phone at the time. I'll that just makes, like it makes sense. I, let's let's hold on to the boat. Let's not die. So that's why my, my phone is now at the bottom of the of Lake Huron, um, along with my sunglasses actually, which made me kind of sad because like even though it's just sunglasses, um, they were like the only sunglasses I could find that fit my head because I have a really big head. Why don't you <laughs> just get the same pair? They're, I could, but they're expensive. Yeah, they were like $400 sunglasses. So that was kind of sad too. And I also had my earbuds in my pocket. And they, they, actually, they actually stayed in there. Yo, my, my, my earbuds stayed in my pocket, but they got fried from the water. So it doesn't really matter. Um, okay, before we keep going, I want to try something. I realized that I made a huge mistake before I started, which was I didn't spin my Wheel of Gohan. Okay. I did this in the first video for Broly and Gogeta, and I got both of them. So that was, that's my bad. I was too excited to tell the story. So let's go here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, nine spins for the ninth anniversary. Okay. Now we're gonna get Gohan on this next round. It's, it's guaranteed at this point. So uh, let's go, let's go. Um, what happened next, Phoenix? Uh, our parents and like, oh, I right. guess the owners just kept on talking back and forth about yeah, how we were gonna right, get right, the Right, right, so Phoenix held stuff. onto his phone. So he was able to call our mom who was waiting for us at the rental place across the water. And we were like, you know what? We're safe right now because we got pulled to shore. We're at the lighthouse, but we're not gonna be paddling anymore because like I can guarantee you we're gonna capsize again. And this time probably in the middle of the lake. And yeah, like, too much we'll be, oh. That's, that's, that's a new one, that's a new one, right, yeah. Krillin and 18. Good. Pretty good, pretty good, yeah. Um, not quite as good as Beast of Gohan, but like, close, close enough for now. We're gonna get it today. We're gonna get it today, uh, I feel it, I feel it, I feel it. Um, so yeah, we were calling our mom, and she was like talking to the people at the rental place, 
And at first they were like, okay, you know what? We're gonna send someone on a boat to go pick them up, you know, on a speed boat so they can like pull the kayak in the back and then have yeah. us on the boat. But then after they left, like five minutes later, oh, bro. Okay, so the recording got cut off because I got a call, but um, as I was saying, yeah, five minutes after they left, my mom sees the, the girl that left on the boat, like rowing her boat back, like the speed boat back. And apparently what happened was the motor broke. So the rescue attempt has failed because they can't get us anymore. And they were just like, you know what? We give up, like, it's not meant to be. Just tell them to roll back. And I was like, dude, there's, there's no way. Yeah, <laughs> there's let me no do this way. one. You can do this one. Yeah, there's no way, cause uh, yeah, we're gonna die. <laughs> like, like we, we didn't die the first two times, but if we capsize the third, th third time, which is guaranteed to happen, Given our skill level, given the conditions of the water, um, we're just we're just done for. Yeah, so it's not happening. Um, if you want to like send someone later to like fix, you know the or sorry, pick up the canoe. Sorry, not the canoe. Pick up the kayak. Then they're then basically feel free the to same. go. So it, it, I, I guess so. Um, then go ahead. But otherwise. Um, we're, we're, we're just, we can't, we can't do it. We can't bring it back ourselves. So yeah, after some back and forth, after I think, I, th I think there was a little bit of yelling. <laughs> yeah, a, <laughs> a, a lot of yelling, yelling from our parents' side. Well, possibly, possibly. Um, yeah, they finally decided to fix, I don't know if they fixed the motor or just I got think a they new got boat. like a new one. They might've gotten a new one, yeah. And then uh, they actually sent another guy on, on his bike to bike over to us as well. So they had two people to help and um, yeah, you know, while we were waiting, we're just like, we're chilling, you know, there's a lighthouse here. We took a picture, which I'll show you guys uh, on screen. Yeah. Um, just to commemorate the moment. The time and we almost died. The time we almost died, apparently. <laughs> and uh, after they got there, we left like the equipment, like the paddles, the our life jackets with the people from the rental place. And we just literally like ran back. Um, which was like three to five kilometers, I think, or something like that. It took about 30 minutes or so, not too bad actually. And we ran back to our, our motel. And um, yeah, we just took the rest of the day off. You know, we were supposed to do other stuff. I'm pretty sure like yeah. it was pretty early in the day. It was probably like, what, one or 2 p.m. Yeah, we're, we're gonna eat tacos again. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. We're finally gonna get a fusion. Let's do another group summon because so far these summons have been hot garbage and I, I, I need something. <laughs> I need something to change this, whatever's happening right now. I'll okay, this so dynamic. we're gonna switch it up. Okay, we're gonna pull Beast Go on right now. And let's do a group summon. Three, two, one. Let it rip. There we go. Okay. Whew. Um, but yeah, that, that, that's kind of sorry, guys. Uh, the main takeaway is that we are alive, we didn't die. And never go kayaking. Never go kayaking. I think I'm done with water sports like forever. <laughs> I, don't, I just don't need it in my life. Like it's not something that like I, I, I crave. You know, I'm perfectly happy being on land. UI Goku is cool, but rainbowed, unfortunately. So not the best pull there, but at least we're getting something. Um, and yeah, we're both a little traumatized right now. Just like a little bit, just a little bit. I'll never recover. You're never gonna recover? <laughs> oh, so what are these rainbows they're talking about? Uh, oh, oh, so like if a unit's rainbowed, um, that means I don't need them anymore because I already got like... Multiple mul copies? Yeah, it basically means I have enough copies to like fully max out their stats and everything. Ah. So pulling an extra copy means nothing to me. Yeah, I got right? it. Right, so even though it's a good unit, it's just like, what can I do with it, right? So... I understand now. Yeah. Um, yeah, we've gone through a lot of stones already, and like, <laughs> just basically got like one unit I can use. That's rough. You would think that after my near-death experience, our near-death, our our near-death experience, that the game would want to reward us for surviving. But I, it's I guess it's a hard life. It's a, it's a tough life. You know what though? I, I appreciate everything that I can get in this life because I could have lost it yesterday. So. <laughs> It's fine. If I'm not meant to have Beast Gohan, then I'm not meant to get Beast Gohan. What can I say? What can you do? All right, Phoenix, do this one. Sure. Boom, release. Okay. 
We got Goku and Krillin. I'm not sure if that's like a combo of some kind. I think it should be, but probably not. It's not looking good. Yeah. Uh, um, well, outside of the outside of the almost dying part, did you enjoy the trip, Phoenix? Yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah. What was your favorite part? The tacos. Oh yeah, the tacos. The tacos are so good in Tobori. Um, very pricey though. Very pricey. Three tacos were uh, what was it? It was like twenty three dollars for three tacos. Yeah, they're all tourist like places. Yeah, they were like touristy places. So like obviously the upcharge for for that. But um, oh, Chilai. Okay, I'll take that. I I, I do need her. Um, yeah, it was really expensive but really good. So I can't complain too much. Uh, Krillin 18, that's another combo right there, okay. Uh, so yeah, good trip overall. A little tra traumatic, a little traumatic for sure. But we got through it. It was just kind of funny how like, all these things just kept going wrong one after another. It was like we capsized the first time, and then <laughs> we, 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 we flip it over, and then we capsize again, and then I lose my phone, lose my sunglasses, and they send someone, and then they're, the motor breaks so they can't save us. And uh, that's kind of crazy, guys. And know, then we that's, survived. That's kind of crazy. And then we survived. And, then, and, and now we're here to, to summon with you guys. I think that's something to celebrate. I think it is something to celebrate. Let's, let's celebrate by pulling Gohan here. It goes to the US. Yeah, let's, let's, let's do that. Let's do that. Okay, uh, I'm gonna pick up my tickets. I forgot that actually we do get tickets with these multis, which is a nice change from the part one banners. And uh, we have four free multis here of ticket summons, which hopefully will do something. <laughs> oh, okay, oh. show me, show me. All right, show All me right. your true power, fusion. Let's do this. Well, I mean, I said fusion before. It's not really a fusion, it's more of a combo attack, but it's the same thing as a fusion, obviously. Basically. It, it's, it's the same meaning, so you guys get the point. Okay, so starting off with the Kaioken Goku. All right, all right, okay. Chi Chi. Mm, no, 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 not, not quite. Damn. I don't need that guy. I don't, I don't, I don't need this. Oh, the, the, the Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta either. Cause uh, I'm, I, I think I rainbowed both of them during the anniversary, the UI Goku and the SSB Vegeta. Um, so yeah, not the most hype pull there. <laughs> Is there anything else in this multi? It doesn't look like it. All right, okay, first, first pick of multi, a dud. That's cool. Uh, second ticket multi, Phoenix, why don't you go for this one? Your Whis keeps showing up and just being a tease. Let's go. <sighs> well, you know, honestly, like, part of me definitely thought some, it's just like the, the universe, the universe would give us something. Yeah. After we went through all that in the summons, but nah, nah, we got, we got, I mean, okay, we, we didn't get, we're currently getting screwed. It, it, it doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna last forever, but uh, it's not looking good, guys. <laughs> it's not looking good. All right, here we go. Ticket multi number three. Okay, Goku and Gohan. Here we go. Father-son combo, father-son duo. Can we at least get like a double screen crack, like some panties or some uh, puff puff action going? Mm -hmm. No. Okay. Yo, this is our third Krillin. You know, that could have been Beast Gohan every time. Mm. There were two new units on the banner. Well, That's one of shame. them. What a shame. I agree. What a shame. Ah, <sighs> man. Phoenix, I don't think the game wants me to play anymore. I was gonna say like the first in the first video. Right, like the first part one banners, we pulled absolute fire. I was like, the game wants me back. But now, I'm, I'm starting to think that was just a fluke. You know, I'm starting to think that that was not uh, gonna be the trend. Well, we'll see. Last ticket multi. We actually, no, we do have one more ticket multi after this, uh, cause we got another round of multis going. Mm -hmm. So there's still a chance, but I don't know. I'm starting to lose uh, hope a little bit that we're gonna get this Gohan. And if we don't get this Gohan in 900 stones, it wouldn't be the craziest thing. Like I've definitely spent more stones yeah. to not get a unit, but 
it, it would still hurt because like all those stones, man, were, 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 were earned, okay? I haven't really been buying stones recently. Like I did buy the $5, like 50 stone pack because why wouldn't you buy that? But otherwise, it's just all from playing the game. It's just, uh, you know, from grinding and like to see the stones go from 900 to 200 just like that. It's a little tough. So Phoenix, uh, I'm gonna ask you to do some spins, okay? Spin this wheel nine times. Let's uh, One, see. Yeah, two, two three, three, four, five, five six, six, seven, eight, eight nine. Oh, you oh, went over. You, don't, you, don't, you didn't okay, know what No, No, it's fine. It's, fine. <laughs> it's okay. I, I think it's still I hope counts. I'm not the reason. Let's go. Let's go. I'm stressed. Okay, okay, just Broly. All right, pull down. Nope. Yeah, yeah, there we go. All right. I'm just gonna leave the phone there. Just, just, just let it, let it chill. You know, the first thing that I thought of actually is funny. The first thing I thought of when I realized my phone was gone was, um, shoot, I hope I backed up my Dokkan account. <laughs> I was like, yo, what if I didn't like connect it to Facebook for some reason and it's just gone? That was the first thing I thought of. That would have been that pretty been, bad. Well, well, okay, no, there are two things. It was that and also like, damn, <laughs> I lost my phone case. <laughs> Cause I had a really sick Spider-Man phone case, um, that like it's just gone now. You know that was that was like one of my favorite phone cases I've ever had. Oh yeah, we also watched all the Spider-Man. We movies. did watch all the Tom Holland Spider-Man movies uh, on vacation, and both Phoenix and my mom really enjoyed it. Uh, our mom did fall asleep multiple <laughs> times, multiple times during the movies, but I think it's like just a little bit too much for her sometimes, like. To, to process all the like tech stuff and like just all the, especially yeah. the multiverse stuff, it's just really confusing for her, so. I found Mysterio is really cool. Yeah, you really like Mysterio. Um, he liked the whole like drones and projector stuff. Spoilers for anyone that hasn't seen. Oh yeah, I probably should say that in the beginning. It's okay, I think most people have seen it, but just in case, we apologize. And um, yeah, Spider-Man movies were really fun, really good times. Uh, <laughs> two more multis, guys. Two more multis to go. Let's see uh, if we can get at least one copy of Beast Gohan. That'd be pretty cool. That'd be pretty cool. You know, for surviving that <laughs> the traumatic the near life experience. Ne yeah, near life experience. Yeah. <laughs> we almost lived. Uh, so <laughs> that'd be pretty cool if they rewarded us for that. Uh, maybe the game knows that like we actually weren't in any real mortal danger. Like for real, I did not think we were gonna die. I did not think it was like that bad. But it's always scary when you're, you know, stuck in you're the middle of a life. big body of water, right? And you like have no way of getting to shore because we were kicking hard, but like it, the water was so like yeah, the rough. Current. That, the current was so rough that like it was just really hard to like. I was wearing Patrick Crocs. You were wearing Patrick Crocs. I, I, was not want my, to them. I was wearing my Itachi Crocs. So uh, believe it or not, Crocs are not great for getting you through water. They're good for being in the water. There's too many holes. Yeah, they're good for being in the water. But if you want to like propel yourself in the water, Crocs are not the way to go. Okay, I feel like I wasn't really getting any like propulsion at all when I was kicking it was my horrible. legs. horrible. Yeah, yeah, it was horrible. Um, speaking, of, speaking of horrible. <laughs> These yeah. summons are horrible, man. Dude, this is this, this is, is the last one, right? Rough. Um, I think we can. Yeah, we'll do one more. Okay. We, we got 58 stones. We'll do one last multi with our stones, and then um, we got. I think one, maybe two ticket multis. Uh, Phoenix, just go for it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm not really. Oh. Oh. Well, that's a random fusion right there. Oh, this might be something. Okay. This might be something. Here we go. Let's see. Okay, got GT Vegeta. Got Nappa. Another Goku and Vegeta. Good unit, good pull. Not gonna be upset about that. But would have preferred Beast Gohan, you know, of course. Yeah. But that's okay. Uh, Jace, <laughs> Master Roshi, Kakao. I wish I knew who these people were. It doesn't matter, you don't need to know them. <laughs> yeah. They're not Gohan, that's all you need to know. <laughs> okay, let's right. see if we have enough tickets for two multis. I think we're, we're gonna be short. Uh, yeah, we're short. 
three tickets. So let's do one ticket multi and see how that goes. And then maybe we get some more stones. Oh, another fusion. Okay, sorry, not fusion. Another combo, combo. attack with the uh, uh, Piccolo. Why are, they always, why are they always attacking that ball? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> don't ask me. Um, okay, now this is the same level as Vegeta. Oh my god, we got the combo for that. Yeah, I think that's good. That, yeah, that's it. I think that's it, guys. Yeah. Tough. Yeah, it's tough. Um, yeah, that's it. Wow. Okay, we purchased some tickets, so that gives us enough to do another ticket multi. I didn't want to do this, but we had to. I, I can't just walk away like that. I mean, that that, we were that was no choice. That was too rough. Yeah, no, no choice. No choice. You're right. Yeah, that that, that, that had to. Yeah, I was forced to. Yeah. So yeah. last multi of the video, guys. One multi and a dream. This is it. I can't do any more summons after this. I mean, until more events come out, I guess. Credit card, will, your credit card will be locked. Um, yeah, sure. <laughs> so let's do a group summon. You know, why don't you hold on to it as well? Put your finger there, okay. Group summon time, a last multi of the video. We're gonna get it together in three, two, one. Let it rip, okay. Yes. <sighs> Whatever happens, happens. <laughs> that, this is, this is it. This is the last, last multi. If we get if, if we get him, cool. If we don't get him, not cool. Not cool, but it is what it is. You know, that's life. That's life. And we almost lost ours. So <laughs> we should just be grateful that we're able to, 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 to sit here and, and do these summons. Yeah, after that near life experience. Exactly. Exactly. Near life experience. That's right. Oh man, this is rough though. This is this is this oh <laughs> now we cry. <laughs> oh, well, it's not exactly the way I wanted to go, but at least we didn't go. Like we didn't die. Yes. <laughs> yeah. At least we didn't die. And I would rather go through this shaft a hundred times before <laughs> I go through that that uh, the kayak incident again because that was pretty scary. I thought it was fun. Do I do it again? No. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So yeah, even though uh, that that was a rough go of things, this 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 you know not not the way that um, I would have planned it, but. It's fine. Phoenix wants to go to sleep. He's still recovering from, from the traumatic experiences. Yeah. So uh, that's going to do it for us, guys. Um, we'll try to be back soon, maybe. We'll see. Best of luck to you guys. Hopefully you got Beast Gohan, because your boy did not. And that's okay. Yeah. Because it's better to not have Beast Gohan than to be dead. So <laughs> you sure? <laughs> I'm not sure right now, but that's okay. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Phoenix, any last words before we go? Yes, uh, we are now leaving this horrible banner. <laughs> it sucks. Yes, it caused more it. trauma than the boat. It caused more trauma than the boat, exactly, I agree. <laughs> or at least equal trauma. Yeah. But at least this did not threaten our lives. So I guess it's better than the kayak. Yeah. Um, as always, if you guys liked today's video, make sure to like the damn video, sub to the channel. If you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger, this is Phoenix, with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out. <laughs> oh.